Edmond Public Schools, nearly $4 million in the hole right now. And parents, of course, worried what that means, what could be cut. We are joined now live by the Edmond School Superintendent, Brett Town. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Thank you for asking me to be here today. And we want to start with that. You just heard a little bit of sound from yesterday's meeting. You met with parents yesterday. What was the overall feeling? What was the vibe that you got mm -hmm. from the parents? They've told us, obviously, that they are concerned. But what was the feeling last night? Well, that's our annual open forum. and. And it's, anyone can talk about anything uh, for the district, but I think the tenor really was budget cuts and how it's going to affect classrooms and, and people were concerned about the quality uh, that will might might be uh, degraded because of it. And it's a it's a session where we only um, uh, we listen and now we're going to respond to them individually. But I think the word the the, the message is we really have to uh, be. Uh, thoughtful about anything that we cut so we don't uh, have any deterioration of quality in the classroom or elimination of programs. And speaking of cutting, you announced earlier this week you are going to cut the school calendar by two days at the end of this year. What impact will that have on the students? It, uh, well, in Edmond, we do hours, and we ha because of snow days and extra hours, we have eight extra days built in to the school year. So what we decided to do was uh, shorten our school year put some professional development in place because we have the new state standards, we have a new reading adoption, we have teachers who need to be uh, brought up to speed on some STEM, uh, science uh, initiatives, uh, iPads, Chromebooks, lear new learning management systems. So instead of pulling teachers out of the class next year, where they would you know, not be able to teach mm -hmm. uh, and uh, affect student learning, we're doing this on basically this banked time. The parents reached out to me when I mentioned that I would have the opportunity to chat with you, and they wanted to know really why is this happening? It seems like they want someone to blame, and many of them said they moved to Edmond because Edmond is such a great school district. Right. It's known for that. What would be your message to the Edmond parents? You know, I think I think it, we're just this is a function of the state okay. uh, economy. Uh, we are one of the poorest funded school districts in the state. We're typically in the bottom ten or fifteen as far as money that goes per per child but we have new buildings because of our growth. Um, really, we're gonna do everything we can to protect those programs and still have great quality. Uh, first, we have to protect the teacher in the classroom, so what we can't do is allow class sizes to get any larger than they, they can be. We've identified $2.1 million in cuts that don't affect teachers in classrooms. Uh, now we have to look at some other areas where we can get that other $1.4 million which we think is a, is a good solid number. Uh, we hope it's just 3.5 or less. Okay, so you have found some areas you could cut. Parents want to know, will it be pre-K, the arts, foreign language, maybe even some supplemental nutrition plans that could be on the chopping block here? Because that, half, that four million has to come from somewhere. Right. Are those items on the chopping block? Uh, Pre-K, no. Uh, child nutrition, no. Uh, foreign language, we're still going to have foreign languages. We have to look at the classes. We can't really only have three kids in a, in a, a Chinese four class because sure. we have another teacher that's a physics teacher that has 40. So we have to do some balancing, but all those programs will still be there and they'll still be intact. 